the legacy of slavery, Jim Crow, discrimination in almost every institution of our lives. You know, that casts a long shadow. And that's still part of our DNA. That's that's passed on. Uh, it, we're not cured of it. Racism. All right, there you go. That's uh, the president, of course, in that interview where he used the N-word. Joining us now is Minister Ben Kunchlow. He's former co-host of the 700 Club, columnist for World Net Daily, founder of Americans for Israel. Minister, great to talk to you again. Um, your reaction to the aftermath of this horrific shooting in in uh, in, in uh, Sh Sh um, Charleston. Well, you know, one of the things that you obviously want to do is to send out your sympathy to the folks who suffered the loss of loved ones in that thing. That is never an easy thing to do. And though we can send out condolences and wish them well, that oftentimes does not alleviate the pain. So all of our best goes out to them and our prayers would be up for those folks who are surviving the loss of a loved one. However, I want to point out something that perhaps has been overlooked in this whole thing. Is this South Carolina shooting is absolutely the, the response by the members is absolutely that which demonstrates reality of the Christian faith. This is precisely what Jesus had in mind when he was hanging on the cross, suffering death. He looked down at those people who had beat him nailed him to the cross and were now gambling for his clothes. He looked down on him and said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Well, this is exactly what the members of that church did. They forgave this young man and demonstrated the kind of thing that God talked about in his Bible. So if there's a evidence of a manifestation of true Christianity, that certainly is it. Would you like to hear those words from the president's mouth? Forgiveness? No, would you, would you like to hear him point that out? Because he's taken Christianity to task in the past with the, bringing up the Crusades and, 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 and basically and answering what, the, uh, what ISIS and, and the Muslim world, some of them are doing to, to Christians in the Middle East. Remember he at the prayer breakfast or wherever it was said, uh, you know, let's not be on our high horse because they brought up the Crusades. Wouldn't you love to hear the president say, hey, this is what Christianity is all about, just exactly what you said. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, and um, I haven't listened to all the things he said, but if you listen to him carefully, it, it seems as though he seems to be giving more uh, credit to Islam for their forbearance than he is for giving to Christianity for its forbearance. So um, he and I, let's just say we agree to disagree on that particular perspective. A absolutely. Well, what's your response to I don't know. I mean, taking down everybody's taking the flag down now. Uh, you got uh, the media and 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 Hillary and some others on the left. Even the president, you know, basically saying white people are still racist. You know, the the problem is, Steve, and and, and I, I say this with due consideration. The problem is most people in this country have no idea what real racism is. They have not experienced it. They have not lived through it. They aren't uh, subject to it on a daily basis. So they really don't know what bona fide certifiable racism is. Let me give you just, for example, a couple of examples. Um, have you ever heard or sat at a, or made a call from a segregated telephone booth? No, sir. How about a lunch counter? Have you ever sat in a lunch counter or a McDonald's someplace and saw a black person sitting there? You No, no. Yes, you have. Well, you yeah, at a McDonald's. At a McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, but, but you're saying that that's, where, that's how far we've come, correct? Exactly. Yes. As a matter of fact, there were my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my great-grandfather are buried in segregated cemeteries. Yeah. In fact, they wouldn't even let blacks and whites get buried together I, after we were I dead. I think it's a brilliant point to point out that we have come very, very far. Uh, Minister... We look forward to talking to you again, sir. Thank you very much. My privilege. All right. Always good to talk to you. Okay, folks. Uh, uh, Minister Ben Kunchlow, ladies and gentlemen. If you could help reduce the urge to go to the bathroom due to your aging prostate, would you? If you could improve your energy levels because you're getting a better night's sleep, would you? Of course you would. And now you can with the help of Prostate Revive, the premium dietary supplement for men whose lives, sleep, and energy levels are affected due to the concerns of an aging prostate. Prostate Revive is really about healthy aging. It contains a plant sterol called beta-citosterol, 
combined with 15 other important ingredients. Prostate Revive's exclusive formula helps promote normal prostate function. Here's how you can try Prostate Revive risk-free. Simply call 877-777-2381 or visit our website, prostaterevive.com, right now, and we'll send every new customer a risk-free 30-day trial of Prostate Revive. All you have to do is cover the low cost of shipping and handling of $4.95. This is a $39.95 value, so don't delay. This trial offer requires enrollment in our SmartShip program. To learn more about this Prostate Revive special offer, call 877-777-2381. That's 877-777-2381, or go to prostaterevive.com now.